Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Ashraf. You can just call me Ash. All right. So um, today I'm just going to introduce you on how to create your own game using Camilla. Have you ever missed your OG game such as Who Wants to Be a Man? And do you want to still have that experience? All right. Afraid not. I'm here to help you. And perhaps you can just uh, not only play the game, but you can also create the game uh, and use it in your class or in any other events. All right, so today I'm just going to give you a walkthrough on how to create your own Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game using Gummy Lab. All right, so if you are new to Gummy Lab, okay, what you need to do first is you need to register for an account. Okay, you can just from the options that they have given to you. You can log in using your Twitter account. You can log in using your Windows Live ID, which is your um, personal Microsoft account. Okay, and you can log in using your Facebook account as well. And you can also log in using your Google account. Okay, if you don't have um, these accounts, you can also log in using your personal email and set up the password and you're all good to go. Okay, so since I have an account, I'm just going to go to my personal account. Right, so the focus of today is to create the who wants to be a main air game. So first you need to go to create okay, and just name your game. Okay, for example, okay, and type your game. and click explore okay go to explore okay so the main quest of the game you can just set the main quest um, according to however you want okay this is basically uh, mainly will be the instructions of the game okay or the objective and the outcomes of the game okay if you don't want to put that in is no problem as well you can just go to target audience okay choose the grade Okay, in this case, I'm just going to go for the technical part. Okay, so country and the language. Okay, and next you can go to the game board. Okay, so go to the game board and you can choose your team first. Okay, I will go with Okay, the map, the world map, since we are doing on the states of Malaysia. Okay, and what you need to do first is you need to go to the get started. Okay, so for Gummy Lab, you have okay, these options since I choose traveling just now. Okay, so ignore that. And how many notes? Notes are like levels, okay, levels for your game. Okay, you can go up to, I don't think there's a limit there, but because I've been to 1000, right? It's like you're playing um, Candy Crush, for example. You have the different levels, right? So when you want to progress, you need to first complete one level. Okay, so in this case, I just, I'm just going to choose one. Okay, I'm just going to continue. Okay, so for this part, don't um, put in any questions and don't put in any question bank yet, right? So what you need to do is you just need to click save and close. Okay, and this one, this um, menu or window will pop up. Okay, just close the window. Okay, and you notice the symbol is there, is here, right? Because you don't have any content in your notes. Or notes are like levels. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to click on the notes. Okay, go to edit. Right, and you will see this menu. Okay, go to create content and go to question. Okay, as you can see here, you can see the question, right? So um, just click on who wants to be a millionaire. And here you just put your title, States of Malaysia. Okay, and put in the question. Okay, so available since I have some questions here, I'm just going to import my questions. 
Okay, alternatively, you can just put any questions that you want. Okay, you can, if you have question banks, then you can go to the question banks. All right, and um, the limit for the number of questions will be 15. Okay, because the level for who wants to be in an air, right? For that game, you need to have only 15 questions. Okay, because as you progress, you get the money and then you get the to the 1 million mark. Okay, so since I have mine already here, I'm just going to click my questions and I'm going to add all. Okay. And okay, there you go. And don't forget to click publish. Okay, so it, for the marketplace, it's up to you whether you want your um, questions or you want your game to be visible to other user in Gamilab other users you can just click yes if you want it to be like only accessible to you okay for the um, question bank you can just click no All right and once you're done just click save and close okay and then this menu will pop up Okay, you can still edit the content and all. You can just click on the setting. All right, so how many points is this node worth or the level worth? Okay, let's say 1,500. Okay, so one question will be about 100 marks. Okay, and do you want to use the score from this node? Yes. Set available date so you can set the date. Okay, you want it to appear um, later, for example, if you want to use it with your students or, okay, or participants. Okay, in this case, let's click cancel. And how many times can this node or this level be retried? So this one is up to you. I'm just gonna set to three. Okay, and that's about it. I'm just gonna save. Right, so then you have this content here. Okay, once you're done with that, you need to go to the share and publish. Okay, and just click on the high score list in the game. Okay, so for this one, you just have to set Okay, the, the options. So I'm just going to go for three for the high score list and five for the players who need to complete the game. Okay, so this one, the last one is depending on the number of players you have. Okay, and after that, you go to publish settings. Okay, so make sure this um, function, right, is put under publish. Okay, click so that it will show publisher. So that you'll be able to share your game with the, particip the participants. Okay, and then go to play codes. Okay, and you can see here the play code. You can just ask the participants to go to Gummy Lab and key in this code. Or you can just go to the new, the new play code, right? Okay, so alternatively, you can also just copy the URL, okay, and then share it in your LMS. Okay, or you can share directly to Google Classroom. And make sure the game is active. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. So have fun with Gamilab, and I will add more educational content on how to use educational apps, okay, and others from time to time. Thanks all, and have a good day.